Hey, Steve Bazek, Architect. We're out here at our house in the woods. Uh, we're out here on the first floor. Take the walking tour. So just walked in the front door. You can see there's the stairs that go up to the second floor, but it's a pretty wide open floor plan. You can see we have the kitchen space here. We'll have the island there. You can see it's set up for some water and drainage, but because this is a certified passive house, we have a lot of windows see on the south elevation which is that elevation there and then we have some complimentary windows on the side um, but we have that beautiful slider that's you know 12 feet wide and uh, close to eight foot tall and then that gets complemented by this clear story space and we have a six foot tall by 12 footer upstairs and uh, a little dining nook there and then on this side, we'll have the living area. So, and then of course that finishes with a bathroom down in the corner there. So again, pretty much wide open floor plan. And you can see we get a nice panoramic view of everything that's happening out in the woods, including the nice little view of the lake out there through the trees and then continue that through. So notice on the north side of the house, given that it's a passive house, we have the door, and then we have this one small window around the corner here. So when I'm in the kitchen, I can see if somebody's pulling up in the driveway there. And uh, of course we have a little bit of a pantry and our water heater goes in here, our solar inverter, is going to sit on that plywood there and then of course we have our electrical panel coming down here so everything pretty much fits in there let me get another little panoramic view around here yeah those are triple glazed aluprof windows made in uh, fabricated in slovakia um, they are a triple glazed aluminum frame and it's thermally broken. You can see here we have a lift and slide door. And if you're not familiar with it, lift and slide doors, you have the handle here that when you rotate it down like that, notice you'll see here the door actually comes up and goes up on a set of wheels. And then that allows for a nice, easy movement there. Nice shot of the lake out there in the woods. But again, you know, these hardware specs for these European windows, when you rotate it, the window drops down on the weather stripping um, and uh, you can't move it. And, you know, I just moved that... Uh, operable panel I'm trying to back up here so you can see it just move that operable panel which probably weighs you know somewhere around 470 pounds with one finger so that hardware is just amazing and uh, you know some of the windows like this one these are fixed units and then we actually have some operable tilt turn units here um, the builder wise as he is doesn't leave the hardware around so people will play with these um, but you can see the thicker sash on the right side there constitutes that as the tilt version and then the left side is the fixed version um, and i said you know again these are aluprof you can see there those that always need a name and they're aluminum thermally broken Triple glazed, center of glass is probably a U-value of 0.1. The overall U-value is probably somewhere around 0.18, I believe. Um, it's a little higher for the fixed units um, than the operable units. And then, you know, when you get to these smaller windows, like this one in the bathroom, you know, the... Uh, our value goes down a little because the glass is a better insulator than the frame. 
So when you're doing little windows like that, there's not a lot of glass to the frame ratio. And uh, that really burdens us as opposed to say, a window like that, that has a lot of glass um, ratio to the frame. So it makes it very efficient. And then lastly, we have this open loft. So as you can see here, we get to look up at that second floor, but we also get the benefit of that large window there to throw even more light and energy inside. And you can see we have that opening um, for the floor framing system here. We used an open web floor truss. And you can see how that helps out that, you know, all the utilities, they uh, can run freely through the system. So, you know, HVAC lines, electrical, you can see here we have a bunch of the tubes that are coming from our ventilation system, all of the larger plumbing drain pipes and such through there really help out into the system for that open web truss. Our plumbing pipes also notice that all of the plumbing pipes here are insulated and they're insulated for kind of two purposes. One, we insulate the cold pipes just to keep them at an extremely low risk of getting any condensation on them. And we insulate the heating pipes just for energy efficiency purposes. Now, it's not a whole lot of R value, but there's not a whole lot of water running through those pipes. So. Anyways, I call it the house in the woods. So let's finish with a view of the woods.